to show you how to add patterns to your digital stamps using Photoshop CS5. Now if you don't have full Photoshop CS5 but you do have Photoshop Elements, this will work for you as well. Now for our tutorial today, I'm going to be using 50s May because she has a really nice big dress that will give us a nice big area to work with. For this tutorial, you're going to be using your layers. You're going to be using your pattern stamp tool and your magic wand. But first, come over to your layers, and you'll notice that the image layer, I'm using the 50s made JPEG, the PNG would work just as well, is a locked layer. So we're going to grab the lock and drag it to the trash. That will make this layer a workable layer. Next, I'm going to create a new layer and drag that below our image. Now adding the pattern, I'm going to be doing that in this extra layer. That way it protects our original line work and we can play with multiple patterns without worrying about messing something up that we can't fix. So going back to our image layer, which is layer 0, drop this down and choose multiply. Multiply will let anything that we add in layers below it show through our image. So leaving it on layer 0, come over to our magic wand and select that. Next, you're going to just click on the areas that you want to add pattern to. Now if you want to select more than one area at a time, hold down your shift while clicking with your magic wand and you can select multiple areas. All right, now that we have our areas selected, you'll see what areas by the dancing line tool. Any pattern that we add will not go outside of these lines. That's why we're using this tool for this job. Next, we're going to go and select layer one. That way, any pattern we add in this area is not going to be on our original image. So next, go to your pattern stamp tool. Before you add your pattern, make sure that this box here, aligned, is checked. That way, when you're adding your pattern, if you let go of your mouse, it will line up the pattern when you come back. So you can find a lot of different patterns online um, that are free. I'm going to recommend trying a black and white pattern. That way, when you print, you know it's going to work with your coloring medium. Um, you can try, uh, there's a lot of different colored patterns and you're free to try those, but I would test how your colored ink works with your coloring mediums before committing to your image. So, let's see. You can choose any image you want. Um, I have a lot of stripes and dots and stuff. If you have a pattern that kind of looks randomish, that's a great choice because that won't show as much with your pleats and folds that it doesn't line up exactly. So I'm going to use this polka dotted pattern and you can see the tool and it just will add a pattern into the whole area that we have selected. So that's really cute. Now if you're not sure about this but you don't want to get rid of it, click off the little eye tool add a new layer and then you can try again. Let's try this one. That one might be a little small but you get the idea. So that way then you can kind of switch back and forth and compare. So it's just as easy as that. When you're done, you, use, you can either use the magic wand and select right outside to get rid of the dancing lines and print. Also, if you decide to save this, make sure to save it as a different file name that way you are not saving over your original. I hope this has been a great help for you and I hope you have lots of fun.